Coming up on the show, a nationwide nursing shortage has negatively affected public health. To help fill the gap, USM is launching an accelerated nursing degree program. We have more details on that coming up in the show. With a 20 and 19 victory last Saturday, the Golden Eagles pulled off their first homecoming win since 2019. I was a little skeptical about their ability to pull it off, but USM came in clutch in the fourth quarter. They sure did, Asia. News, weather, sports, and more begins right now on SMTV. From the Chuck Scarborough Television Studio on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi, this is SMTV News, news you can use. Thank you for tuning in to SMTV. I'm Colin Rogers. And I'm Huey Turlich. On Tuesday, the Student Government Association held a listening session in the THAD. The listening session was geared toward the student activity fee. Members of SGA as well as USM students came out. Dee Dee Anderson and Ashley Langford were there to listen and answer the questions about the student activity fee. So whenever we're having the vote, obviously we need to have very clear instructions on where this is going. And it's obvious that students are really passionate about not only knowing where their money is going, but how it's currently being spent and how this hypothetical raise in this fee is going to be spent as well. So Students voiced their opinions about the perspective on the student activity fee. It was mentioned in the session that buildings like the Payne Center need more funds. SMTV will keep you informed on any new developments. Adam Doliak was all the buzz before the homecoming game this past weekend. The Hattiesburg Nave and U.S. alumni graced us with a few great songs. After his performance, Adam stuck around to greet guests and take a few pictures with fans. The artist released his debut album, Barstool Whiskey Wonderland, back in late September. On Thursday, the National Pan-Hellenic Council held its annual step show at the Lake Terrace Convention Center in Hattiesburg. It was an energetic and engaging competition with two Greek organizations coming out on top. All the Divine Nine was in attendance, strolling and strutting the night away. And first and foremost, I just want to thank God for giving us this opportunity to do this. Second of all, I want to thank my pros for staying out with us late at night to get the show. First and foremost, though, and lastly, I want to thank my lane, man. Without cards and beaming, this show wouldn't have been what it is. NPHC is composed of five fraternities and four sororities established by African Americans across the country. Collectively, they are often referred to as the Divine Nine. USM's National Panhellenic Council was established in 1993. I feel great. Amazing. Yeah, we work really, really hard. Speaking of Greek life, I had a chance to take a look at one prominent sorority on campus. This package of Tri-Delta will be the first of many highlights of, of the importance and presence of Greek life on campus. I'm outside of the Tri-Delta sorority house. Founded in 1951, the Phi Epsilon chapter of Tri-Delta has been a huge presence on USM's campus. From events such as Tri-Hop, Pi a Tri, and 10K in a Day, Tri-Delta has worked to uplift the community of USM. Today, we get a chance to talk to several members of Tri-Delta, including their president, Ashley Mitchell. Hey everyone, my name is Ashley Mitchell. I'm a senior marketing major from Biloxi, Mississippi, and I currently have the honor to serve as collegiate chapter president for the Phi Epsilon chapter of Tri-Delta. Hey, I'm Emily Saffel. I currently serve as Tri-Delta's vice president of community relations. Hey, my name is Mary Riley, and I'm a member of Tri-Delta here at USM. Tri-Delta to me, three of our values are truth, self-sacrifice, and friendship. Tri-Delta has truly left me with all three of those, especially as I'm about to enter into my senior year. I know that I can enter the real world and that I'll carry each of those in my back pocket as I move through life. Tri-Delta to me, it means accountability and leadership and friendship. As I leave Tri-Delta, those are the three things that really hit home for me. Um, I have grown so much as a person in the last four years here. Uh, I'm not like the person who is like just in their shell when I came freshman year and I've just completely grown and flourished um, here in Tri-Delta and I'm going to be leaving with so many good memories and so many worthwhile friendships. Tri-Delta means to me a group of friendship. All my friends have been here through everything and have helped me through the years of college I've been here. For all things Greek life, I'm Colin Rogers with SMTV. Back to you. Thank you, Colin. The University of Southern Miss is introducing a new program for potential nursing students. The program is an accelerated nursing program. 
It will be for graduates who have already received a bachelor's degree in other studies. If you are interested, you would need to put in an application and be accepted, just like the nursing program. It is a quicker way to earn an extra degree. Nursing option for those students that have a second degree or are seeking a second degree. So these students already have a bachelor's degree in something that would not be nursing. And so because of that, they get to bypass a lot of the requirements. And so they're able to go into the nursing curriculum and complete it in a more compressed fashion. And so they'll start to finish, finish it in 12 months. This program gives a massive head start for those looking for a degree in nursing without having to take another four years of classes. Coming up next, we'll take a look at what we have in our weekly installment of SMTV Sports Recap. But before then, let's take a quick look at the weather. <laughs> Call Lockout Locksmith. When every second counts, we are on the scene. You can count on us, your friendly neighborhood locksmith. We are available Monday through Saturday from 7 to 7. Call now, 601-854-6521. Or visit us at lockoutlocksmith.service. Check out our newest design for our Adcock Pool and Spa website. Explore the new look and feel. Build your perfect poolscape in the comfort of your home with our in-ground pool wish list. Choose from different features including pool type, shape, depth, and exquisite style with our outdoor landscape options. With Adcock Pool & Spa, you're in control. Visit us at adcockpoolandspa.com or at any of our three locations. Adcock Pool & Spa, we are in the fun business. Visit hubcityhoedown.com to find your tour dates and live music events for all your favorite local bands or submit your own local event on our website. That's hubcityhoedown.com. Your live music in the Berg. news over the week with the Golden Eagles win at homecoming. Volleyball superstar Mia Wesley captured a career accolade and cross-country Isabella Ross showed out. Golden Eagle football wins in a close one against Arkansas State on Saturday 20-19. Let's send it to Nathan Lee who was at the game. The Golden Eagles faced the Arkansas State Red Bulls over the weekend in a game Southern Miss needed. If bold contention is on the team's mind, this game was a must win due to their strength of schedule from here on out. Early on, the Golden Eagles were far from that level as they allowed an opening drive touchdown to give the Red Wolves an early 7-0 lead. It would get worse as Zach Wilkie threw an interception on Southern Miss's first offensive drive. However, the defense would hold strong for the remainder of the first half, only allowing a field goal in the second quarter. After two straight punts from Southern Miss, the Eagles finally got a spark from none other than Jason Brownlee, scoring his fourth receiving touchdown on the season. Wilkie continued to struggle though as he would throw another interception late in the first half on a drive they were moving the ball. The offensive struggles through the first and the second half led to a tough decision for head coach Will Hall, which was to bench Zach Wilkie for Jake Lang. Coach Hall talks about why he made that decision. I thought it gave us the best chance to win the game. Uh, Zach is a really talented, really good player. He's turned the ball over a lot here recently. Uh, I thought he was a little emotional early. I thought that's why the ball was high on him. Uh, he's a really accurate passer that was missing high because he was so into it. He wants to do so good. He understands. He's got the weight of the world on him right now. Like, we've got the most passionate fan base in America. I don't care what nobody says. You've been at Penn State. You see it every day. Like, our fans are passionate now. And our fans, I love them. Okay? And he's got the weight of the world on him right now. Okay, because he feels like, you know, that it's my fault and his fault. 
and uh, just felt like we had to remove him from it for a second, let Jake come in, let him catch his breath. And, uh, you know, Jake, Jake's a guy that's going to do exactly what the play call says. The decision proved to be the right one as Lang would lead the offense on two straight touchdown drives. The first touchdown came from Frank Gore Jr. after a nine-play, 95-yard drive, the longest from the offense all season. The second drive would end with a Janari Dean rushing touchdown to give the Golden Eagles their first lead of the game with a score of 20-19. After a pass breakup by Jay Stanley and Eric Scott Jr. to force a turnover on downs, the Golden Eagles could finally celebrate their comeback win. Nathan Lee, SM2 News. The Golden Eagles are back on the road for another conference game against the Texas State Bobcats on October 22nd. In volleyball, the Golden Eagles took on the Bobcats last weekend in which they lost both matches. Southern Miss was overmatched against their Sunbelt opponent. The Golden Eagles dropped their first match 3-0 and will lose the second match 3-1. In good news, Mia Wesley did her thing reaching 1,000 career kills. Over the two matches, the sophomore had 24 kills and 4 aces. You can catch their next game on October 21st and 22nd against the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Cross Country came in 6th place at the Crimson Classic on October 14th. Isabella Ross placed in 6th in the Crimson Classic in Tuscaloosa. The Wisconsin native crossed the line with a time of 20 minutes and 21.3 seconds, which is her first top 10 placement this season. Cross Country get back to action at the Sun Belt Championships on October 29th. The moment you all been waiting for, the player of the week. The audience has spoken. The winner is quarterback Jake Lane. Lane finished the day with 45 passing yards on 6 of 12 passing. The big story, though, is when he led the last two touchdown drives to win the game for the Golden Eagles. Don't forget to listen or watch the 4th Street Sports Show on 88.5 FM or the, or the Southern Miss Student Media YouTube channel on Mondays at 5 p.m. This has been SM2 Sports Recap. I'm Maya Evans. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Maya. Coming up, Asia Wade gives us the what's what on campus. Don't go away. The community calendar is up next. For news, weather, sports, and more, follow Southern Miss Student Media on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. The world is changing, and we are changing with it as our students create, inspire, and inform. Beginning this fall, the School of Media and Communication will take its public relations master's degree fully online. That means students anywhere in Mississippi or around the world can get their advanced PR degree from the University of Southern Mississippi. Check us out as our students find new ways to create, inspire, and inform. Again? Great, I'm gonna be late. Call Lockout Locksmith. When every second counts, we are on the scene. You can count on us, your friendly neighborhood locksmith. We are available Monday through Saturday from 7 to 7. Call now, 601-854-6521. Or visit us at lockoutlocksmith.service. From the Chuck Scarborough Television Studio on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi, this is SMTV News. News you can use. October 11th was not just another day. It holds a lot of meaning for members of the LGBTQIA community. I had the opportunity to cover PRISM's event and be a part of the celebration. October 11th may seem just like another day, but for the LGBTQIA community, it has a significant meaning. This day represents the strength and courage it takes for an individual to come out and be who they are. Oh, my name is Wes. I go by they, them pronouns, um, and I am the coordinator of PRISM. I serve in the Office of Inclusion and Multicultural Engagement. So what's the importance of today? Today is very important. It is National Coming Out Day. It is a huge celebration to commend the strength, 
uh, what it took for us to come out. And also for those who don't come out all the time, uh, we want to re readily celebrate the community and everything that it goes into it. Here in Weathersby Lawn, Prism, one of the branches under the Inclusion and Multicultural Engagement Organization, celebrated National Coming Out Day. Members of the LGBTQ plus IA community plus allies joined together for the festivities, fun, and food. From painting to coloring to Jenga, the event was a success. Students had a night full of dancing and activities to enjoy with their friends thanks to Prism. Um, today just celebrates when I got to do the second phase of my life and I got to come out and be who I am. This is Huey Charlotte reporting for SM2 News. Welcome to the Southern Miss Television Community Calendar for this upcoming week. Fall is here and let the festivals begin. USM Counseling Service, Services Moffitt Health Center and Campus Re Recreation presents the Fall Wellness Festival. It will be held on Tuesday, October 25th from 3 to 6 p.m. in Spirit Park. Join PRISM as they welcome in the LGBTQIA plus community history month to kick off the prize celebration. They're having the PRISM tie-dye party on October 28th from 1 to 3 p.m. This event will also be located in Spirit Park. Scholarship applications are now open in the GO system for fall 2023-2024 school year. Be sure to complete the general application to get matched up to more opportunities. Let the spooky season begin. Southern Miss Student Alumni Association is hosted a haunted house in the Payne Center where you can experience five themed rooms of full, full of frights. This event will take place Wednesday, October 26th from 7 to 10 p.m. in the Paint Center. Looking for a leadership position? The Greek Seekers application for the 2023 calendar year is now available. If you are interested in becoming a representative of fraternity and sorority life at USM, follow USM underscore FSL for more information. The application closes Friday, October 21st at 5 p.m. No tricks, just treats. Join SMAC as they host a Kid Halloween Carnival on October 28th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at Weathersby Lawn. This has been SMTV Community Calendar. Back to you guys in the studio. break well I'll be out of town I'm going to Louisiana so hopefully I have some fun well I'll be resting getting my beauty sleep as you should <laughs> what about you Colin I know personally I'm gonna get into the fall spirit maybe go visit the pumpkin pads oh, yes. fine. What about you, Asia? Uh, I'm gonna do the same as you I am definitely tired of school the break is needed for me yeah right well this has been our show thank you so much for tuning in and watching SMTV this week be sure to subscribe to Southern Miss's student media on YouTube and follow us on all our social medias. You'll be sure to find a new episode of the show every Wednesday evening. It's amazing to be back behind the news desk once again. I'm Colin Rogers. I'm Huey Derlich. I'm Asia Wade. And I'm Maya Evans. As always, Southern Miss to, to the, the top. top. Awesome, guys. Dope. Thank you. Thank you. the latest SMTV news episode? Find us and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Southern Miss Student Media.
Listen to Southern Miss today, Monday through Thursday on WUSM. Get all of your local, regional, and national news, weather, sports, and more on Southern Miss today. News you can use. If you would like to advertise with Southern Miss Student Media, give us a call today at 601-266-4258 or reach out to Justin Martin at wilbur.martin at usm.edu. 